I'm Stacy Johnson. Tax time is already taxing enough without getting caught up in some stupid scam. Tax scams you need to avoid. Just ahead on Money Talks News. Want to pay less taxes next April? Then check out my new course, Mastering Your Taxes. Learn more at moneytalksnews.com forward slash taxes. The identity stolen and then they use the mail to either receive fraudulently obtained credit cards or tax refunds. People find out that they're victims of tax fraud uh, usually when they go to file their taxes and it gets rejected. Every year, Postal Inspector Blanca Alvarez investigates crimes using the mail. It includes identity theft and tax fraud. Her advice to keep consumers safe? Check their credit on a regular basis, at least once a year, and pick up their mail from their mailboxes soon after delivery to make sure that they're getting all of their mail. For years, identity theft was at the top of the IRS Dirty Dozen tax scam list. Last year, though, it was phone scams. People calling up pretending to be IRS agents and trying to separate you from your information or your money. Here are some other ones to watch out for. First, phishing. Crooks send a fake IRS email trying to get your info. Don't bite. The IRS doesn't send emails at all, much less ones asking for personal information. Then there's tax preparer fraud. Beware of accountants bearing gifts of big refunds if they're using inflated numbers or fake information to get them. Remember, you're the one signing the return and you're the one ultimately responsible. Also, false filing. Claiming deductions or credits you're not entitled to is fraud. It can land you in hot water or in the extreme, even jail. Fudging retirement plan contributions and withdrawals is another common tax scam. Sometimes preparers do it, sometimes tax filers do it. Either way, the IRS is looking for it. Oh, and here's a good one. Every year you'll hear someone say income taxes are unconstitutional so you don't have to pay them. Incorrect. Don't believe me? Ask an accountant. You may not believe that it's constitutional, but that doesn't mean they won't come and take all your stuff. Bottom line, protect yourself from fraud and resist the temptation to engage in any yourself. Now what you need is some more information. It's waiting for you at moneytalksnews.com. Just do a search for Tax Hacks 2016. For Money Talks News, I'm Stacy Johnson.